welcome to Look At Her, the Hey Queen After Show, where our superstar guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and spills a little tea. Yeah. It's getting gaggy, or throws a little shade, or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, our guest is the beautiful Gia Gunn. Oh, you know what? I brought my own glasses to look for, to look at her. You did? Yeah, do you mind if I use them? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I feel a little bit more ready. <laughs> yes, that is good. Okay. Uh, Lady Red, how do you like these Gia Gunn look at her glasses? Oh, baby, Ooh. she is the boom, boom, go. <laughs> She's pinched and plucked and ready. <laughs> and now, of course, we have our beautiful lap dancers right here, Gergie McCann and Ziggy Banks. Yeah. Make sure to follow this gentleman at Gerg is the word on Twitter. All right, thank you, fellas. Hop away, you Bye, sexy boys. little bunnies. Uh -huh. Even though boink, I rather boink, look boink, at boink, them boink, than look boink. at her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gia, uh, you know how to play this game. I know you do. Oh, I do. So let us begin. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Not only is she a fabulous queen, but she's a fabulous person. Mm. She was like, her and Naomi were two of the like biggest support I had on All Stars. So I'll never forget that. And you know, what's better than somebody who's beautiful on the inside and the out and is fierce at the same time? Now, you told us on the main show that, uh, you know, some of the little catty drama you had with Trinity was pre-planned. You guys had a little convo. Yeah. I mean, I think me and Trinity see very eye to eye. Uh -huh. We have one thing in common. We're both unapologetic bitches. <laughs> and we both know that sometimes we could be shady and we're not worried about what other people have to say. So... She, for me, was always the winner. I was rooting for her since I walked in and saw her with that zip tie, lime green dress, honey. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I just already knew that she was not there to play any games. That. Not with me, not with Shoot, not with Ms. Rue, and not with any of the other gals. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at her. Monet Exchange. Yeah, so look at her, <laughs> you know, compared to Trinity. Mm. Are you guys laughing back there? <laughs> I don't know why. This is your All-Stars 4 winner, girl. What really kicked things off with me and Monet were after the show came out, after All-Stars was announced, and, you know, everybody was giving me all this recognition for being, you know, the first openly trans woman, blah, blah, blah. She went out of her way to make a tweet that mm. said, ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget that Peppermint was the first openly trans woman to be on Drag Race, not Gia Gunn. Oh. So for me, it was kind of like a little, it was a little sour. So mm -hmm. that was the first thing. Then the Jenny Bowie interview, right? Um, again, she went out of her way to get her own views and likes and to kind of make me look like an asshole or like mm. to not look like <laughs> how I look compared to her. <laughs> um, and so for me, it's like, you're going out of your way to kind of ride on somebody else's joy. Why are you doing that? Mm. And now I get it. You're the winner. You're feeling your oats. And I actually tweeted, uh, congratulations to both of them. Uh -huh. Of course, I'm Gia Gunn, so I always, you know, have a little bit more to say, which was <laughs> for me, Trinity was the winner, but I'm happy for my I guess not sis anymore, but my <laughs> fellow co-worker, Ms. Monet Exchange, you know, and I congratulated her. I added her, all that. Uh -huh. Then she clapped with, with, you know, the whole, what she did. Mm. Gia, so what up? $100,000, you know, fingernail emoji. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, you know, she's just kind of like a little zit, you know, that won't go away. <laughs> so uh, that's just where she is for me. Okay. Yeah. Look at her. Aww. Were you really smiling with joy when she fell like they showed you on the no, show? No, girl, of course not. <laughs> Realistically, I was like, that was more the expression. I felt for her. Right. Because she poured so much coin into this production. She really wanted to give us this show, yeah. which it very much so 
was a show. It just, you know, I was gagged. I was, and they wanted to show, they didn't show the take that where she didn't fall. Right. They used the take where she did fall. And honey, please believe. She was like, are they going to show that? And they're like, oh, don't worry, honey. (laughs) And I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, "Mm -hmm, Mm mm-hmm, baby. They're probably going to add sound effects. Make you do it once, twice, three, four times, and again. They might even show the stage breaking in half. I don't know. But realistically, uh, you're falling on on national television. (laughs) So just get ready. Mm. But no, I I adore her. She's a great person. Have you guys had the chance to really clear it up? We have. like your one time like where you came in the middle of the the talking, we all know that that didn't quite do it. No, we have. Hands down. On uh, Watch What Happens Live, Andy Cohen, Mm -hmm. you know, I knew she was going to be there. And... We hadn't really spoken. She unfollowed me on Instagram, and mm-hmm. you know, as millennials. Yes, sweetie, that's a statement. When somebody unfollows you, baby, the the dark cloud has came over, <laughs> yes. which means shit's getting not only gaggy but it's getting real. Mm. And so I said, okay, unfollow as well. And um, you know, then I saw her there, and uh, she actually really surprised me. She was very mature. She came up to me after the episode. You know, we didn't say anything to each other the whole time, but at the end of it all, she goes, Gia, come over here. I want to talk to you. Oh. And, you know, I closed the door, and she goes, you know, um, I just want you to know, like, living the whole experience, like, I hated you, mm. and I hated what you did to me, and blah, blah, blah. She goes, but... I see what you did there. And I was living for it. It made such good TV. Like, I, you know, I don't understand why you were continuously talking shit about me in the interviews, even after All Stars, Mm. which is another thing I would like to say, you know, yeah, why did I need to continue the shade Mm. even after the show was done? You know, why couldn't I do the billboards and do the, you know, this and that without having to be that person? I honestly think I just felt so bitter after the experience, and I really didn't have another narrative yet, and that was it. Again, starving for attention, wanting to be, you know, fearful of being lackluster Mm. and just not being that shady bitch that, you know, my character involves but is not fully embodying. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird because it's like, well, if this is who you are, why aren't you just showing that person all the time? And it's like, well, honey, I'm real. She's human. Drag sometimes is confusing for me. Put me in a different setting where we're not talking about drag or drag race or shady things. And yeah. guess what? I'm a different person. Yeah. Different topics, different things, different feelings, different expressions. Um, and, and we did. She goes, you know, I just want to move forward and, you know, I want to nip this in the bud and, you know, I just want to clear the air and let's just, you know, emotionally for someone like her, who's very emotional, Mm -hmm. um, it affected her, you know, and she let me know, like, Gia, I really looked up to you, like, as a queen. Like, I was so excited to be on All Stars with you, and it was such an honor for me to, like, work with, like, Gia mm. Gan, and then here you come, just, like, being shady. And I was like, yeah, you know, I get it. Like, I'm sorry, and I've learned from my mistakes, but I think what's most important is what exists between you and I, which I think is a sense of mutual respect. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Look at her. Oh, yes. Valentina, it's her. Valentina. I mean, she is exquisite. Uh Uh-huh. She is, I think, drag excellence. She's a performer, and she's actually talented. Mm -hmm. Um, And not only is she talented, but she's also investing into her talents. Mm -hmm. Dance lessons, vocal lessons even attitude lessons, I think. And that's not even me being funny. Right. I think she has done a 360 since her season. I think everybody else around her has noticed that, has embraced this real Valentina. Mm. I think we even saw it on All Stars. Yeah. We saw who she was as a person. (laughs) Yeah. And And I was so thrilled to see that because I think beyond the fantasy, it was like we only saw the fantasy. And realistically, let's be real, life is not a fantasy Uh 24-7. Drag is, but life is not. And I think it just took her 
a few moments and a few maybe, you know, bad experiences or shit talking and mm. rumors, you know, to kind of teach her like, look, it's okay to be in your fantasy. People will still live for you, but people will live for you even more if you're just a nice diva. She's unapologetically a diva and I think to each his own. All right. Look at her. Oh, Latrice yes. Latrice Royale. Latrice is obviously an all-time favorite. I feel like she could never do wrong. Um, fans love her. I love her because she's a real bitch, you know, and she tells it like it is. And she's also not afraid to share her story or be vulnerable in front of the camera or in front of people. Still being tactful, still, um, you know, knowing where she stands. She's a professional. She's like, you know, she's an old school G. Like, she's done this. She knows what the gig is. Um, I don't think she did as well as she hoped to on All Stars. I mean, I thought she was going to win. Yeah. I, think I mean, that, we I all kind of walked in there yeah. and was like, well, let's just have a seat because Mama Latrice is going to take this. <laughs> yeah. But it just didn't work out that way for mm. her. Um, but another person who is also diving deep into their personal life, you know, she and Chris just got married. Yeah. Um, you know, congratulations, Latrice and Chris. I'm so happy for you guys. And I just think... She's a businesswoman, you know, and, and she is someone that we should all look up to. Agreed. Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>